Hello, hello, hello from Crafting and Cruising. I'm Lisa. Welcome to the page. When you get on, please say hi and let me know you're here. And if you're watching the replay, please hashtag replay and let me know where you're watching from. I'll try to pull you up here on my computer. Rodney Sutler is watching. Sitting right here next to me. Okay, here we go. Now, so I see somebody else is on, but I can't tell who. So let me know you're here. When you're here, I'm going to wait just a minute and then we're going to get started because I have some happy mail to open and I can't wait. But we've got a lot to do today. So you remember that I told you that it had to do with books and angels. So I have made in the past some book trees. Let me show you. Hey, Mary. It's tip you down just a little. It's going to tip me down a little bit. Hey, Mary. Thanks for coming on. Okay, let me swipe my comments right here so I can read them over here now. So this is a book tree that I made before, and I put it on a Dollar Tree candle stick glass that I painted, black and white checks, and then I folded a book, made it into a tree, distressed the edges, and then dipped them in diamond dust. Put a little star on top, and there you go. Hey, Joyce. So, here's one. There you go. And then the other one that I made is like half a tree. I showed this before also. This is a Dollar Tree little tray that I got. I think it was kind of silverish color. I painted it. I decoupaged a um, Mackenzie Child's napkin on it. And then I did basically the same process on the book. And I had some little wooden presents that I got in a package somewhere. So I just glued them to the bottom. I printed on a piece of, um, not rice paper, but hard, heavier than um, copy paper. Cardstock? Cardstock. This is Oh Christmas Tree. And then I put a piece of Totally Dazzle Bling on the top. So this can sit on a little easel. You can prop it up somewhere. So thank you, Jamie, for coming on. I appreciate that. I do have a new moderator. Mary says hello, Rodney. He's really not new. He just wasn't here all the time. So what I decided to do was, why can't we take this same process and make angels for Christmas? I love angels. I have done several Christmas card paintings of angels. I've done them in mixed media. I have angels around my house several places. Um, I have crosses, a whole wall of crosses, but I love angels, especially at Christmas. So, I've already folded. I'm going to show you three different ways to fold books. Now, get books, hardback books, that you have in your stash that you're not reading anymore, or if you're fortunate enough to have a place like I do called McKay, um, right outside the McKay Bookstore, they have two bins of free books, all kinds of books. You can just go in there and take what you want, as many as you want. You can go to the Dollar Tree and get hardback books. You can go to um, uh, the Goodwill and get hardback books for not much. You don't want it to probably be more than about 300, 350 pages, and you can get it a lot less than that. But if you get it too much, then it'll be too full. So, I've already folded three in the way that I'm going to teach you today. And I'm going to show you those. And one of those we're going to finish. And then I'm going to show you on those three how to actually fold them to look different. So, this is the one that I folded just like I did the Christmas tree that I showed you on the stand up there. And I'll teach you in a minute how to do that. 
So I have already gone through and distressed most of the edges of the pages with a Ranger Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo. Somebody please remind me to find out from Chris or Debbie or whoever how they flip their camera so that it reads right for you all. I know a lot of them don't like to do that, but I, I want to do that. Okay, so what I did, I've done most of it, as you can see on the edges, but I saved a little bit. What I did was I just took the top off and I took the distressed oxide and I just went down the edges. I didn't hit all of them. I didn't go inside. I tried to make sure I got the bottom tips, but I just took the stamp pad just like it is. Some of them have more than others. Some of my pages are folded a little more evenly. That's fine. So, I think we've about got all of these. Thank you, Minnie, for sprinkling. Hello. Whoops, I got a little bit too much on that one. See where that one was sticking out? Doesn't matter. Okay, so that was Ranger Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo. I use that on a lot of things. Then, I glued, I had some pearl, this is called His and Her Pearl Garland. I think it's from Hobby Lobby in the wedding section. So, it just comes on a string, and I glued a couple of strings around the top to be kind of like a necklace, even though we probably are going to have some totally dazzled on her somewhere. Not sure where yet. Then I went to Michael's and got these wooden balls, and you will see that I've already taken my bare uh, wax and distressed them. Can you, does it say what size, Ronnie? I think the tag is on it. It's pretty <clears throat> big, and they're flat on the bottom. These are about an inch and a quarter. He said they're about an inch and a quarter. So we're just going to take a generous dose of hot melt. And we're going to put her head right on top. Now her head looks kind of big for her body. I could have used a styrofoam ball that you can get from any craft store that would have been bigger. Then you could paint it. You could cover it. I'm not going to do all that. What I am going to do is give her some wings. And I want you to see the wings that I'm going to use on here because the other two books you actually fold some of the pages to look like wings. So here are the wings that I have already cut off. And I cut it off of, I don't think I have, I don't thought I had it in here. Do you see a big angel? I went to uh, Five Below and they had a, a big thing of wings with a little piece of elastic that you could slip over your shoulders. And um, so what I did was I just cut parts of them off. And I'm going to use this part as the back where I have an extra little um, pearl hanging down. So let's put her wings. And there is a right side and a wrong side. This is the wrong side because you can see the um, veins of the wings more profoundly than you can here. So I've got to make sure that I put the right one on the right side. And then once I glue it on, I can bend them a little bit if I need to. So I want to come about halfway down her dress to put this wing. And this is going to get feathers all over it. Okay, let me just try to hold that for a minute against the book pages. I hope y'all are having a great day. It's cooled off here in Nashville a little bit. Hey, Janine, my sweet sister. Aren't they so fun, Janine? I love them. Okay, she's going to have to have some more glue behind her. Oh, this glue stick is not pushed in very well. Well, now, all right, let's put a little more glue on the page. See if I can hold her down there better. 
No time like the present, Janine. That's right. Do it, sister. These are so much fun to make, and you can do them in all sizes. You can leave them flat like this, or you can put them on a candlestick um, like I had that one. I'm going to show you. Um, one of them stands free on its own, and I'll show you that one. But I'm going to show you what I got because I went to Dollar Tree to get some more of those crystal candlesticks. They were out on Black Friday. <laughs> He wants to keep going over. You may have to do them both on and put a little something between them to secure them. Yeah, I may have to. Tell them how they, when they're making the pages, it looks like it would take a lot of time, but you don't have to be totally focused on that. No, you don't, and I'll show them when I get ready. I'm going to show, I'm going to teach them how to do that, but it's one of these projects that you can sit around and do when you're watching television or you just don't really have anything else going on and you don't want to just sit there. Um, I, I, that's the way I am. I, I don't, I'm not one just to sit. Um, I have to be busy with my hands. So I don't know if this is going to stay over or not. We might have to actually clip it in a minute. Okay, so then this is the right side of this one. So let me pull her over here where you can see. And does that look about? <clears throat> Once you lean it back like the other one, so you can see. No, not the whole thing. The wing, so that they're parallel. Push it forward. About right there. Maybe. Is that right? Let's see. All right, I'm gonna see if I can put a real good amount of glue on this one and hold it in place. Touch it. Okay, now tell me when it's right. Rotate the ends back toward you more. No other way. You get... I don't know what you're saying. I'll make it more like that one. I think if it was What's bent it? some, it would hold better. It's just not gonna, it's not holding well against the pages. These wings some, are probably too heavy. Yeah, let me help you hold it here. Now, I have made a couple of little, um, hey, Babu, my sister. I've made a couple little um, halos out of chenille sticks, gold and silver. Can you put glue down the back side? We're doing it good. I don't think so. Okay. Let go and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Just don't think putting it down the back is going to help any. Okay. This might not be the best idea, you guys. Don't try this at home. Now, what I thought I would put on her, and I may let Rodney work on her while we do another. I'll tell you what, you work on this for me while I show them some other ones. There you go. Let me unplug this glue gun. He can plug it in over there by him. Okay. Here is another kind that you actually use the entire book on. And the back of the book holds it in place. Now, you can put decoupage paper in here, some kind of Christmas paper. You could cover it with Mod Podge if you wanted to and totally um, put uh, diamond dust on it or you can just leave it. You could paint it white. So, Ronnie, would you put a generous amount right here for me? And I'm going to go on and put her head on this one. And you see this one, we're not going to have to 
I'm turning all around so I can see her. We're not going to have to worry about wings because she already has wings. And I'll show you how to fold those. It's not, not hard at all. And we may give her one of these little halos. Silver or gold. I like silver better on that. So I'm going to bend this up just a little bit. Jam it in the crack. LOL. That's right. Thank you, Janine. Um, Rodney, can you give me a little sure. blue right there on the tip? Right down that little thing. There you go. All right, so let's attach this to the book. And then, again, with these, there's lots of things you can do. On some of these, I think I'm going to use my molding paste like you saw me use last night. And I'm going to put some molding paste on the wings. And I can kind of use my uh, palette knife to kind of feather them out. I've got some totally dazzled out here. We could put a piece of totally dazzled on her. It's probably too big. Probably should be silver since I use silver. And this would just be a little extra touch of something to almost look like a little necklace. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do on the insides of the book yet. I need some more glue, please, sir. Right around the edges if you can. Not get my fingers. There you go. Good. Okay, let me turn her around and put this piece of Totally Dazzled on. So what suggestions would you all have for the inside of the book? Probably will paint the outside of the book. Might even paint it silver because I don't want it left looking like that. But that little totally dazzle piece just kind of added a little, little umph to her. So that's a second way. This one stands by itself. Doesn't have to be on a stand. You ready to plug that back in? And I'm going to show you how to do that. Set this back over here. All right, Ronnie, we used to put this one up there. And then the third one, third way of folding it is like so. What's happening here? This is supposed to go the other way. So now this one has little pointy wings. I'm going to put a head on her. And I just think these are so cute. Now this one I'll probably put, and I'm going to show you right now how I'm going to do it, on a stand. So when I couldn't find the glass candle holders, and I couldn't find too much else. We hand me that glass piece right there. This actually fell off of a candle that I had and broke. So I could use something like this. And um, I would have to put the um, um, Deco Art, whatever that stuff is, first before I put paint on it or it wouldn't slick stick and then paint it. But I also found these chess pieces at the Goodwill. So there was two whites and one black. My granddaughter coated them again with white for me. This one I've added the wax to. This one I haven't. I'll show you how to do that if you don't know or you want to see it. So I think what I'm going to do is to glue this one on a stand right here. And then, if I want to, around the bottom of the stand, I can put greenery, I can put bling, I can put some of the Robert Stanley gold bling around here. 
Tony Dahl says, hi, Lisa. Hey, Tony. And Minnie Cutler Crumbs says she loves it. And Thank she you, says, Minnie. a Christmas scene on the book cover, maybe. <gasps> That's a great idea. A Christmas scene. If I was real industrious, I would paint one. Probably not that industrious. Mm -hmm. And Jeannie Olney, Olney. said, oh, Jeannie. I love that. Jen oh, it's Janine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And okay. Babu says, so pretty. Babu, thank you. Okay, so I don't want to leave this looking just like a chess piece, so I definitely will go back and put some greenery on it. In fact, why don't you hand me that bag of greenery right there? Now, we need to put a little, either put a halo on her, or we could put a, I'm going to use that crown for something else. This one is broken. We could put a crown on her. Which do you like better, a crown or a halo? She said, that's this my is your favorite. favorite. I don't know if that's <laughs> the favorite angel or the favorite. I think probably the favorite angel. Probably. I like it too. Do you like the gold or do you like this crown? Halo. Babu says, crown, Minnie says. One to one. It's going to be the tiebreaker. That little crown is cute. I mean, I know crowns are not usually associated with angels, but I don't love this color gold. Got another halo. Another halo? Okay. All right, do we want the halo up like that, or do we want it down on her head? And I can go back and put little pieces of greenery around that, too. How about both, Babu says. Okay, let's see. There you go. Crown and a halo. I don't think I want both. Unless you can tell me a better way to do it. Okay, so on her head, flat, or propped up? Either a high or a low halo. I'm waiting. Let me turn it around toward me and see about this, if I like the halo. I mean the crown. Propped up. I don't know, y'all. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this crown, see if we like it. If we don't, all we have to do is take it back off. But I think it's kinda cute. Yeah, one, yeah, two votes for up and one vote for flat. <laughs> Apparently, the halo is going to win out. And a raised halo seems to have the consensus. Okay, let me cut these little pieces off back here so I can glue this flat. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to put some glue on here and let y'all see it. See what you think. Excuse my husband's phone. Michael's calling. Oh, Michael's was calling Ronnie, telling yeah. about some deals they got going on mm -hmm. here. Okay, look, y'all. Oh, it's not staying on very <laughs> well. Ronnie says, too low. You think it needs to be higher on her head? Well, it's cheap. Okay. Let me see if I can put enough glue on here to hold it on here. Probably have to hold it a little bit longer. I get impatient. I just want to go on and be done. Minnie has sprinkled again. Minnie, you're the best. You are the best. Okay, I don't think this is going to stand up. Maybe I need to put some more glue behind it. I think I need to work on it. Let me see it. Oh, Mr. Siler's got to work on it again. Okay, let me show y'all another option while he's doing that. And if I cut it? No. 
Um, I also painted one of these pieces gold. So I could have set her on gold. Either way, I think I'm going to put a little greenery around the bottom of her, maybe some berries. Um, I just think, and this may not be the, the best greenery to use, but we need something to kind of hide the fact that it's a chess piece, don't you think? Let me look at her real quick. So if you make it to heaven, they say checkmate. <laughs> Don't hear my husband's funny. He said if they make it to heaven, they may hear checkmate. All right, what about something like this with a few red berries at the bottom? Hold her still a second. Too much. <laughs> I didn't have any on the corners where I needed. What do y'all think? Greenery too much? Maybe just around the bottom? That might be pretty. I like the greenery around the bottom. And what I might do is get some ribbon and wrap around the middle. But I think I like this greenery around the bottom, y'all. Where's my glue gun? Let's put some of this around here. Then I'm gonna show y'all how to fold. I'm not gonna doll them all up right now because I really wanna show y'all how to fold it. Okay. So let's start this around here. Let me hold it for a minute. Okay, how do y'all like the crown now? Around the bottom, okay. Do y'all like the crown on her? Still think I need to try to put the halo too? If you all haven't hit the follow button and turned your notifications on, please do and please spread the love. With others, what do y'all think about the um, crown? Because I'm about ready to start showing you about folding. I don't think I need to show you about um, antiquing. Do you all? I've also got some happy mail here. Whoop, whoop. The crown does look pretty, according to Janine. Thank you. Think I should leave it? Okay, let's get this out of the way, Ronnie. Okay, so anyway, you see basically how this is. I think I'm, I've got this one turned. This one was supposed to go in, and she got turned out. Let me fold her the opposite way real quick, just so she'll sit right. Now, if you've got some kind of a bone, what's it called, a bone crimp or something tool, you can use that to help flatten your pages. You want really good, strong creases, but you can just do a little bit at a time, or you can use a pencil or the edge of a um, pair really? of scissors or whatever. Okay, so here goes this one to the side. All right, let's start folding. So, I want to show you the easiest one to fold. So, what I did was I took a hardback book like this, and I go on the inside with an X-Acto knife after I bend it back and forth a few times to try to get the pages separated. You don't want to lose the binding, but you do want to lose the hard cover. So, I ran an X-Acto knife across here on both sides, front and back, and then gently pulled the book off. So you see that I still have the binding here holding the pages together. If you cut through that, your pages are not gonna stay together, okay? So this is the first one we did that's just like the Christmas tree. So all you're gonna do 
is you're going to take your page And you're going to come down from the top and fold it in to the center. And crease it. Very simple. Then you're going to bring it in again to the center from the top. Bring it in to meet the center all the way down. Crease it again. Now, you see you have this little flap left. What I do on most of them is run it across the bottom to give it a crease and then fold it under, just like that. Some people actually leave theirs turned up. You can do that too. It just gives it a little bit different look when the, when the book is all together. I fold mine under, okay? So that's one page done. Flip it over, make sure at the top, sometimes I have to use my fingernail and kind of push that little top edge down, and I'll crease it again, okay? Next page, same thing. Come down from the top, fold into the middle, crease it well. Come from the top again, fold into the middle, and crease it well. I did three books the other day on the way to Rodney's sister's house and back for Thanksgiving. So it just doesn't take long. All right, now crease that well across the bottom, lift it up, tuck the crease under, flip it, and go on to the next one. Does that make sense to everybody? Sometimes I'll flip over to the back and start back here just because this starts getting thick. But you can see when you get all the pages done, it stands up just like this. You don't have to glue anything together. You just need to make sure that your creases are good and try to fold in toward the center. Now, the more you get into the middle of your book, the harder it is to make sure that you're in the center because it starts getting thick and your folds may not quite come to the center. That's okay. If some of your pages, you saw on mine, some of my pages weren't totally even, that's fine. That's because they weren't totally into the center, and that usually happens toward the middle of the book. Okay, this one up here is not quite down enough, so I'm going to push it down and crease it. Okay, any questions on this? This is very simple to do. This book actually had... Um, about 203 pages. I wouldn't, like I said, go over about 300, maybe 350. Okay? Questions, comments? Ready for the next one? Okay. The next one is going to be the one that we leave in the book. If I were you, I would either paint the front and back of the book and possibly the insides or decoupage or whatever you're going to do. A Christmas scene. Before, a Christmas scene. Before you start doing your pages. I wish I had thought of that. I didn't. <laughs> so, I have folded some so what you're going to do is, in the front of your book and the back of your book, about the first 20 pages, both ends, are going to end up being your wings. Okay? I've already done the front of the book. Wings. So now we're going to flip over to the back of the book and do the wings. 20 pages. Now... What you do on these to make the wings is you start at the bottom corner and you come up toward the center. And you crease it well. Okay? Then you go to the next one. Come up toward the center and crease it well. We're going to do this for 20 
pages. And that will make the wings, the back wings, we've already done the front wings. See, this can be done in the car, this can be done while you watch TV, this can be while you sit in the bathroom. Well, Babu is watching you while she's doing her 12 foot tree. There you go, Babu. It. Oh, I bet that's <laughs> so pretty. Ooh, I can't wait to see a 12 foot tree. Do y'all still have a lot of snow, Babu? Because I just want you to know I'm very jealous. I know that y'all probably get so much you get sick of it. But we don't down here. And I told y'all before, I'm like a kid in the snow. I love the snow. I want it to snow here. I would love to have a white Christmas. I think at the last white Christmas we had, our kids were like a lot younger, weren't they, Ronnie? Yep, I think so. And last year, was it last year? It was like 74 degrees or some crazy something on Christmas. It was like summer, and I'm like, go away. <laughs> Bring me the snow. I love the snow, first of all, because it's just so quiet and so peaceful and so pure and pretty. And it also is a good excuse not to get out and do anything. No it's snow nothing. here. Janine and Diane have it. Well, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're almost through. A little over halfway. So I guess y'all can see what I'm doing. Whoops, tore that one. Not a problem. Just make sure that little torn part is turned in. So that's 12. I have been so excited because I um, ordered so much of my most of my Christmas, and a lot of it has already started coming in, which really excited me because I hear that there might be a railway strike. And um, my daughter's already getting notifications that on some of her Amazon Prime stuff, it may be late, or later than what it was supposed to. I like come December 24th and leave the 26th. I would even be satisfied with that, Babu. I would love it. I saw some of Diane's pictures and Janine's pictures, and I couldn't believe it. Minnie says, I love to see the snow, but I love to see it go. <laughs> He's a poet. You're a poet. Don't know it, Minnie. Okay, one, two, three. I lost count. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Two more, you guys. Janine says, yes, we do have snow. I know you do. I'm so jealous. You have not just snow, you have a lot. Feet, I would say, right? For she? She's in New York. Must be up toward the lake. But the lake she affects snow from Diane Buffalo. And... Both have a lot of snow. Okay, so now I've done my 20 for the wing in the back. I'm just going to crease them really well. Sometimes I'll just take a pair of scissors and run up and down the crease to flatten them. So now we have <clears throat> did I, do that right? I was going to say, I hope you didn't do them upside down. I did it. Yeah, I did it right. Okay. <laughs> so now we have the wings. Both sets of wings. Then in the middle is going to be the body. And we're going to do it the same way we did it before. Except these we're only going to turn in one time. We're not going to have to push them all the way down. So we're going to take this, start from the top. Now see, this is where it's starting to get kind of rough right here in the middle of the book to get it all the way over. Crease it once. That's it. I've already done a few pages in here just so it wouldn't take so long. And I'm not going to finish all of these books, but I just wanted y'all to get the gist of how to fold the book. And then the fun part comes in how you want to how you want to decorate it. And the sky is literally the limit. My hubby's from Buffalo and he doesn't miss the snow. I guess if you live in it all the time, Minnie, or you did growing up, you probably don't miss it. But 
when I was growing up in Nashville, we had a lot of snow every year. And I lived on a street that was the perfect hill to sled down. And of course, cars wouldn't go up and down it. Um, especially at night, had a lot of kids that lived in our neighborhood and we would take our sleds out, go to the top of the road and sled down. It was not fun coming back up, but we had so much fun. We had snowball fights, built snowmen, just got out of school a lot. It was just so much fun. Okay, so I think you all get the gist of this one, right? So she's coming right along. Where's my other one like this? Right here. This is the one that we put the little piece of totally dazzled on. There she is. Okay. So that's number two. Now the third one is a little more difficult. And if you are OCD about everything being perfect, it's probably in for you. By the way, if you weren't on last night to see our little Hershey mailbox we made over for Santa's box. Made it look really vintage, put some greenery and some pine cones, and then I made a little flag to go on it because it didn't have a flag. Isn't that cute? Okay, so... Will you hand me the one that I just put the greenery around and put on the chest piece is what I'm going to show you how to do now. This one. Again, the center is just like we've been folding the other ones down from the top once. The way you get these different little tips right here is what's different. Okay? So, don't be OCD about it. Now, this is going to be a little angel. You see, I took the binding off of the hardback book. This one was only... Minnie said that turned out really cute, the mailbox. Thank you, Minnie. I um, do love the mailbox. This one was like 140 pages. Okay. But it doesn't have to be this small. And I've already done the wings on the back. Let me fold them back up. And I've done part of the center. So, once again, let's just recap the center. Start at the top. Go down toward the middle. Crease. Flip it. Literally, you would be shocked at how many of these you can do. And y'all, I think these would be really, really cute gifts. Whether it's a hostess gift when you go to a Christmas party. I think it would be cute for um, a wedding gift for a newlywed couple for maybe their first Christmas. Um, I think it would be cute for that person on your list that's so hard to buy for. Um, I leave my angels up all the time, but if, if you're going to give it as a gift and you think that person would only think of it at, at Christmas, then what you might want to do is give it to them ahead of time so they can enjoy it during the Christmas season. But I believe that, you know, we're entertaining angels unaware the Bible says all the time. Babu said, where do you get your books? I tell her Goodwill or a place called McKay's around here. Yeah, we have McKay that is a used bookstore. You can actually sell your books for either store credit or they'll give you some cash for them. And then they just have two bins. Of, they have textbooks. They have outdated books. They have paperbacks. They have hardbacks. And you literally can go in there and take as many as you want. They don't care. They just want to get rid of them. So, I mean, obviously, that's the very cheapest way if you have a place like that. But I actually, to be honest with you, all of these, I got off my own shelf. They were books that I'd been hanging on to. I'd already read them. I knew I probably wouldn't read them again. If I thought I would, then I didn't use them. Um, and I think some people use paperback books. Obviously, you can't for the one that needs the back and front to support it, to help it stand. Um, but I, I just always use hardback books. That's just me. Okay, so we've done the center part of it and the wings. So let me show you on the other end 
how you do these links. And I'm going to have to turn it toward me because it gets a little confusing. All right. So you're going to... Is this right? Fold up? I think it's folding up. Let me check. Yes. Okay. You're going to fold up from the bottom to the center. You're going to start, and we're going to do this for 20 pages. You're going to do this very same way on all these pages, okay? You're going to fold from the bottom to the center. The thing that changes is the next step. So, the next step, I'm going to hold it down here, and I'm barely going to fold it in again. Not much. And I'm going to crease it. As I go, this one's a little harder to crease because the paper's a little bit thicker when you do it this way. I'll take my scissors and just run it down that crease, okay? So, that's the first page done. Folded it in from the bottom to the center, then folded it from the center again, but I barely folded it over, okay? Next page. Fold up from the center again. Crease it. When I get ready to start, I'm going to start down here. Oops, I did that the wrong way. Fold it in this way. Now this time, I'm going to start again down here. This one's coming a little loose from the binding. And I'm going to fold it over a little bit more than I did that last one. See, folded it a little bit more. So what the goal is, and this is falling totally apart, the goal is that by the time you get to your 10 pages, I said 20, I think, but I meant 10. I think I just did 10 back here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six. On this one, I only did six, so I'll only do six up here. Okay, so we've done three. Fold it again from the bottom. This time, fold it in a little bit more. And I'm kind of lining it up where I ended my last one, because that kind of helps me stay on track. Okay. Makes it look more like feathers. Mm -hmm. It does kind of look like feathers. All right. So that's number three. Now we're going to do number four. Fold it up halfway. Crease it. Hold it down here. Fold it in. And do it a little bit further in. This will be number five. Oh, that's four. So I've got two more to do. Okay. All right. Number five. Hold into the center. Crease it real well. Hold it from the bottom. Go in further this time. It's not all the way over. To the center again, but it's almost all the way over. Number six will be all the way over. And then number six. How many paper cuts do you get? You know mm -hmm. what? Many I haven't gotten any. Now that you said that, I probably will. <laughs> but so far, none. I hadn't even thought about that. All right. So now we've got this wing done. Now it doesn't look much like that. But when you put it with the book, with the rest of the book, when we get through folding all of these down, you saw what it was like when we put the little hat on it. It looked, I mean the head, it looked really cute. Let me see if I can do these really fast so y'all can see. Now, these are the ones, again, that I would put on a candlestick. Or you could just put it on some kind of a, a wooden base, like a block. Yeah. 
I hold the wings forward so they can see. See? And if you need to, on the they're, they're just kind of flapping on the back. You could put just a little dot of hot glue on the back two wings, one on each side, just to kind of hold them down flat if that bothered you. No, Minnie, I don't think you would. If you use all of your fingers to push them down, I think you'd be fine. So really, the sky is the limit. And I think you can distress them. Like I said, I think I'm going to use my molding paste and my palette <clears throat> knife and put on the edges of some of the pages on one of them. Maybe to make it even look like it's out in the snow. Or you can use your palette knife and feather it out to make it look like wings. I should have let you use one of my books. That would have promoted one of my books. <laughs> so, my husband has written two books. Um, and he's got parts of the other sequels to them started, but he hasn't finished it. So, if you all are readers, or if you know anybody that loves to read, these books are good even for children starting at ages, what, Rodden? About 13, nine, 10? 13, 13, 13, 13, okay. There's no sex. There's In the second one, there may be one bad word. I don't know. Nope, nope, nope. No bad words? Okay. No bad words in either one of them. They're available on Amazon, Goodreads, Barnes and Noble, Barnes and Noble all of those places. So the first one, is, the series is called Yellow Fever. And the first one is Yellow Fever, Finding the Treasure Within. Rodney Seiler. S-Y-L-E-R. Babu says, how do you know how many pages to fold? You do all the pages in your book, Babu. Now, normally on the on this kind, like if the book had been more pages, more like, you know, 200, 300, I would have done, I would have tried to do at least 10 for the wings each, each side. Kind of hard to get the folds to where you can have too many more than that. This one, because it was fewer pages, I just did six. You just kind of eyeball it. And, uh, but then all of the rest of them in the middle you fold. That's why you don't ever want to get a book over about three, 350 pages because um, it gets hard, like I said, toward the center to get it to come down and really meet the edge. Um, the second book in his the Yellow Fever series is um, Yellow Fever, the, the Caged the Ruby. Caged Ruby, C A G E D, Ruby, R U B Y. So, we would love it if you would go um, over to Amazon, maybe, or any of those places we named, and order his books and give them as gifts. Read them yourself. I think you'll love them. They're really, really interesting. Rodney, describe they're, they're how you... They're adventure novels. Okay, but how did you come up with, like, the plot and stuff? Well, I took a lot of stuff that, uh, adventures I had growing up, and then I exaggerated it, added a bunch of lies and uh and then added treasures and stuff that i never found <clears throat> and it really keeps you on your feet i mean you don't really want to put it down let me say that and i read it a lot because i edited it but um it's it's very the kids teenage kids or you know starting at age 13 or whatever all the way up to his dad read it before he passed away and he was 93 three so um yeah, and it's, it's really good for any age. So if you do read it or get someone, give it to someone and get them to read it, we would love it if you would ask them to leave a review. That would help Rodney a lot. Okay, last page. Then I can show you what I have. So I'm going to push them down real well. And now we have another angel. There you go. A headless angel. Let me just go on and put a little head on her. Even though her little wings were pulling away from the book, I can... You got another one? Still, I got one. Put a head on her. And when I do get these all zhuzhed up, decorated up with snow or glitter, now this was not one of the heads that was... Um, Flattened. Was antique. Oh. But I can go back and antique it, or I can just leave it white. 
This one we could mm -hmm. put, let's put a gold um, halo on her. There you go. It's hot. And I did bring some finger protectors in here. I just didn't put them on. And it didn't stick. It stuck to my finger and stuck <laughs> to the ball. <laughs> you have a halo on your thumb now. Okay. Maybe we'll do a book giveaway on your next life. This is not sticky. That's a good idea. A Rodney Siler book giveaway. That's a real good idea. Minnie is sprinkling up a storm. Minnie. I did too a minute ago. You're the best. Rodney, Say you're the best. the best. You're the next best. Okay. Her halo is a little tilted forward, but that's okay. And I'll probably put a piece of Totally Dazzled on her. I'm trying to decide... Ronnie, let me have the uh, first one back that I did with the feathers now that you got them on there. And I may put her on the gold stand. What happened to the gold stand? There it is right there. Will you set that? Let's see what she looks like. Ooh, we got blue stuff everywhere. She turned the, turned, let me see that a second. Got windows, yeah, it's got windows all around. I thought we might turn the windows where they weren't showing. Tall angel. Y'all like her on the gold stand? I could actually. Let's see if you like the. Where's the glass one? Let's put her on the glass one. We don't have to necessarily paint the glass one because she would come down and totally cover it. Is there enough blue surface there? I think so. Y'all like this better or the gold stand better? And here's here's what I was going to put on her. I got this already because I thought with the pearls around her neck, this was so pretty. Here, Ronnie. You want to try to glue one of these on for me? Y'all tell me if you think it needs to be on this stand or on the bigger stand. The glass, Minnie said. Okay. Anybody else? You like the gold stand, Janine, or do you think it should be on the smaller stand? Thank you, Deborah Jed. I'm fixing to open a box from you. I got some happy mail from Deborah Jed. Okay, here you go. What do y'all think? Gold? stand or this clear stand which isn't going to show which is fine it doesn't have to show the smaller one janine said yeah. i'll let rodney glue this on maybe thank you deborah and again i love i got the um wings at five below now that was back around right before halloween so I can't guarantee you could get them, but maybe. Now I'm going to open my happy mail. I also have something beautiful from the famous Debbie Riggs Studio in DAZ. Check Savvy Sisters. Check Savvy Sisterhood. I got in the mail. Okay, so we're going to put this. Let me put some glue around here. Ooh, yeah. my hand shakes. And I'll try to do it with my left hand. Okay. I think that's pretty centered. Yeah, Deborah, you need to. Is it centered? Let me wait. Let me looking to see. Yeah, I think I've got it pretty centered on there. 
I just get impatient waiting for the glue to dry. It's like watching paint dry. Y'all have so many angels over there. It looks like I'm going to be busy with angels for a while. Okay, now. Now look up there. I think we got it done. Just have to finish all the angels. I may be giving angels as gifts this year. So, what do y'all think? You Love like the crown. So pretty, Babu says. Thank you, Babu. Can you hand me these boots back here? Y'all, look what I've got to also do. Plus, I have two of those. I've got these. i got to figure out how to do or what to do. Got a good idea. And then I have two of those wooden soldiers to go outside the door. Oh, i got a lot to do. What do you do your ice skates? when Debbie tells us we're going to have a class. Okay, so I'm going to hand you this, Rodney, one more time. Y'all can see it. Screenshot it if you want it. Take, a, take a bow. Then, <laughs> and then I'm going to open up do this. some happy mail from my sweet sister, Deborah Jed. Man. Lisa and family. Merry Christmas, sister. Oh, it's got koala bears, Deborah. Did you know that's my favorite animal? <laughs> Merry Christmas, sister. I'm blessed and I know it. Having a sister like you and Christmas time seems really like a, like a really good time to make sure you know it too. Merry Christmas and happy, healthy 2023. We love you, Debbie and Ralph. Dear Lisa and family, thank you, sweet sister. I love that. Look at those little koala bears, y'all. That's my favorite animal. Okay, let's see what we have in here. Mm -hmm. Evelyn's Elegance Edibles Classic Chicken Noodle Soup Mix. Ooh, we may have to make that tonight. Not just for you. We have to get chicken and cut it up, it says. What is this? Maybe I better wait on it. Wait. Ooh, that's pretty. I could have used that on my mailbox on my um on my Santa mailbox. Could have used that on the flag. That's cute. You now we can craft with that. Well, I'm gonna get the other out in it. Let's see. This says it's from Antina's Salon and Boutique. Hmm. What could it be? Ooh. Oh, love it. Oh, that is so soft. Y'all look. Maybe from, I should put it on. Made from koala bear. It's not made from koala bear, huh? It'll go down over my ponytail. Look how cute. Matches. <laughs> that is cute. It does match my shirt. Oh, I love that. I don't know what this hair sticking out is doing, but I think we better tuck it in. Doesn't look so cute like that. Now, oh, I love that. Oh, what is this? Orange cranberry twice. Baked cookies by Cooper Street, made with real Michigan cranberries. Yum! Make me some coffee and have some cranberry cookies. And here's some more of this paper. Oh, it got stuck to the tape. I love this paper. That's beautiful. Okay, here's the box if you want to put it. And let's see what's in this box. Snowflake. Oh, that's my mama and my daddy. 
I love that. You know they say when a cardinal shows up, it's um, somebody that's passed on visiting you. And look, it says on the back, Deb, she made it 2022. That's so cute, Deb. I love it. Thank you so much, sister. You are so good to me. She is so sweet. It took me 15 minutes to add Deb in 2022. That's funny. Well, you did a great job, and I'm very appreciative. So, thank you. Let's see what I got from Deb, Deb Rig. Y'all are going to love this. She made it. Oh. oh no, that's just taken in the box. Are you ready? Got some bubble wrap. Don't y'all love to pop bubble wrap? I do. Me, because it's a beautiful ornament. It is a beautiful ornament. It's Sandy Stover Beasley is watching. Hi, Sandy, Sandy Beasley. Beasley. How are you, sister? I hadn't seen you in a month of Sundays. Y'all get ready. Uh, uh, ooh, I love it. She is so talented. Look at this Gucci bag that she made. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a clear bag, which do you know if you go to concerts these days, you have to have, if you take a bag in, you have to have a clear bag. What is this hair doing? Um, I know because my daughter and her daughters have been to concerts twice lately and she had to have a clear bag. For you know them. anybody going to a concert? Oh, I'm going to one. <laughs> Friday. I'm going to Vegas to see Adele. So, this is decoupaged. And then she put a Gucci bling on it. Look at that. That is so cute. Y'all, I love it. Debbie Rig, I love you. This is darling. You're so good. You're so talented. If y'all haven't seen her make these bags, if she makes them again, you better get them and grab you one while you can. Because they don't last, I can promise you. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, you guys. Well, I think that that is all I have today. I could sit here and um, mess with these all day, which I probably will later on this afternoon um, after I eat some lunch. But um, I so appreciate you being on and supporting this page and um, loving on Rodney and I. And I hope you've learned something today about book folding and um, can make some beautiful creations yourself. I know you will. And um, yeah, it should be a good show, Minnie. Um, and I hope you'll come back. I will try to be on tomorrow, maybe, and Wednesday. Um, Wednesday, I, it may be iffy because I will be prepping for colonoscopy on Thursday. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited about that. By the way, did you all know my, my paperwork came and said that I was supposed to, one of the things I was supposed to have was, um, for take was a mag citrate. And the other day, Rodney and I went to three different stores, and nobody had mag citrate. And I said, what, what is happening with mag citrate? Like, why are so many people taking mag citrate? They're not. It was recalled. So, I had to call the endoscopy center this morning and say, what can I take since I can't get mag citrate? So, um, probably Wednesday, I'll be sticking close to the bathroom. Um, but if I feel like I can't come live, I will. And then I have to be at the um, endoscopy center at 6 a.m. Thursday morning. My procedure will be at 7. Then my husband will take me to meet my sweet friend Jody. Um, and we are going to fly. I will probably be sleeping uh, while I'm flying uh, to Vegas. And then the concert is Friday. So, um, anyway... I hope to see y'all again later this week, and I love you, and I appreciate you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.